Well, it's been dubbed the most controversial film of 2020. Twelve strangers are plucked from obscurity and become human prey as part of a twisted hunting game for the wealthy in The Hunt. Well, Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now for one of his fab -o reviews. Good morning to you, Jabs. Now, this film, it caused widespread outrage when the trailer was released. Just explain why it was even postponed by the studio. Good morning, Mon. Good morning, everybody. Yes, as civilization crumbles around us, what better way to take refuge than in a movie about civilization crumbling around us? <laughs> the reason there was controversy around the hunt, basically the premise, a group of liberal elites, i.e., I guess, Democrat voters, herd 12 Republicans uh, into a pen and basically start shooting at them and see if any of them can escape. They're led by Betty Gilpin, who plays Crystal. Uh, and the reason that it got delayed, it was meant to be out in September last year. There were two mass shootings in the US in August, so the studio pulled the film. Um, and the president even weighed in. He was sickened at the idea of, um, uh, you know, right-wingers being hunted by the liberal elites when the whole thing is basically a... Um, taking the mickey out of the red versus blue divide in the US. In fact, the film was originally called Red State versus Blue State. It's ultra-violent, it's quite funny, and it's a bit of a female Rambo. Betty Gilpin is sensational as Crystal, and she's aware that there is something more going on than meets the eye. Let's take a look at The Hunt. Why would they do something like that? Same reason elites do anything, because they think they're better than us. Yeah, but, but why you? I mean, it seems so personal, right? <laughs> what, what, you think it's our no, 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 that's not what I'm... No, I would never blame the victim. Yeah. There'd have to be a reason is all. Can you think of anything, anything at all, no matter how minor, that might make somebody want to try something as... Oh! 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 Yeah, Betty Gilpin is sensational. It's a violent action thriller that's a great premise, but it misses the bullseye for me. Three stars, and that's coming to DVD, available to rent on demand. Something from an Aussie director, Kitty Green, has directed a couple of docos now. She gives us The Assistant, a real slow burn that focuses on the life of Jane. Jane is on the bottom rung of a talent agency or a film production company in New York, very much based on the Harvey Weinstein uh, affair. And she just goes about really mundane tasks each morning, uh, you know, setting up the office. Uh, and then we start to see the creepy behaviour of her boss start to filter through. This is a really, really intense film, uh, but very, very little happens. Starring Julia Garner from uh, Ozark, does a lot with a little do check out the assistant. And one more quickly for you, it's a key film at the Sydney Film Festival, which of course has moved online. It's a digital film festival this year. Do check out The Skin of Others, an extraordinary tale about Douglas Grant. Uh, a young Aboriginal boy kind of plucked from the rainforest in far north Queensland and goes off to fight for Australia in World War One. That is just one sentence out of an incredible life story. Four stars, a fascinating and meticulously crafted tribute to a forgotten Aussie hero uh, and Balang Lewis's final performance on film. So a couple of great films to tide you over as uh, everything crumbles yeah, around us. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> Lovely. Keep us busy. Uh, well, that one, well you one. really perked us up with that last statement. Thank you, Jabs. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Jabs. Or there's the Avengers Age of Ultron on 7 tonight. I'll be watching that. Okay. Excellent.